guys in this tutorial let's learn how to find the coefficient of a particular term in the expansion given okay i hope everyone remember intersecond year in intersecond year we have a chapter named binomial expansions in that we used to have this formula this question is from that chapter guys basically x plus y whole power n is equals to sigma r r to 0 r to infinity n c r x power n minus r y power r okay i hope everyone got a small idea on this okay that's fine now okay we'll be initially finding all the possible equations like this for this so initially r equal to 0 i'll be getting this equation phi c 0 2 power n minus phi minus 0 phi power r r is 0 okay fine next one next two three four five so now i'll be searching for the coefficient x power 3 here there is a chance of x power 3 no here we are having x power 0 here x power 1 no x square no x cube yes x power 4 no x power 5 no so i got only single term if you got two terms you'll be taking common and you'll be adding the coefficients okay adding the coefficients and that's the result i hope everyone got a small idea so i'll be calculating only this part i'll be avoiding all these parts because it doesn't contain x cube so further continuing i'll be solving it so i got this so if you have any doubt that nc phi nc ncr is equals to n factorial minus so basically ncr is equals to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial okay so here phi c3 so 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial that's so that's how we get 10 so x square is 4 minus 4 whole cube is minus 64 x cube so after calculation we'll be getting this hence this is the coefficient of this is the coefficient of x cube i hope everyone got a small idea on find how to find okay let's take this example if he gave 1 plus x plus x square into 1 square plus x whole power n he told you find the coefficient of x power 7 and x power 8 and x power r so let us continue so x power 7 so let us check all the possible chances of getting x power 7 so we can get by this this term if we have 7 x power 7 in this so we can have a chance of getting nc7 i hope everyone got a small idea okay let, let me go through it again so here I need how many x's, x terms to get x power 7? I need x power 7 to multiply it with, multiply with it. So out of n, I need 7 x's. So I can get here x power 7. Like that here, I need only 6. So nc6. Here I need only 5. So nc5. This is possible if, if you want to solve a problem like this. It is must and should that you should have all the coefficients are 1's. Or else you need to follow this method. Okay, I hope everyone got a small idea. So further continuing on, if x power 8, I need 8 here, 7 here, 6 here. That's what I wrote here. So x power r. Okay, x power r. I need here n c r. Here I need r minus 1 plus n c r minus 1 plus n c r minus 2. That's it, right? I hope everyone got a small idea on how to find the coefficients of a particular term. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.